Hey everyone, we are 2AM, that's two assholes and a microphone. My name is Dirk, and this is Crystal, and today we have Samson with What About Us? Nobody asked for this one, but it's brand new, just dropped today, and we really enjoy the conversations that Samson brings up, and he's hella funny while he does it, so. I'm looking forward to this, so. Interesting. Give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Don't tread on me. Those are words that I stand by, homie. It doesn't mean I'm gangster, it doesn't mean I'm country. It means that my life is in my hands only. Hell yeah. Yeah. Very good. That's what that's supposed to mean. Mm hmm. It doesn't mean I'm country, it means that my life is in my hands only I don't have money for security, I don't have armed guards that I keep snug around me You don't think I deserve protection like you do and that means you don't give a fuck about me Gated yep. community, that's what you live in Hatred and mutiny, that's what we live in So come down here and hang with us for a minute See if you leave with the same fucking opinion Ooh. <laughs> I really like this guy Damn, now there's nothing really to break down You can hear everything he's saying clear But I want to hear that bit again Also we want to hear what you had to say about anything here. So. That's what we live in, so come down here and hang with us for a minute. See if you leave with the same fucking opinion. Who's gonna help me out if I get robbed? What if somebody were to beat up my mother? Who's gonna be there to save our lives? You? No. Nah, me, motherfucker. I need <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna be there to save our lives? You? No. No, you got to defend yourself mm -hmm. with whatever means you need. To defend yourself with exactly and you know you the reality is you cannot always depend on the police to be there they're the cleanup crew it's most always been that way yeah most of the time beat up my mother who's gonna be there to save our lives you no, nah, me motherfucker i'm the only one that's got my back it's dog eat dogs these are not no cats there's cops in michigan that can't even respond to the calls because the cars ain't got no gas Great. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Won't send to non-life-threatening calls due to gas prices. Oh, that's insane. Right? There's not no cats. There's cops in Michigan that can't even respond to the calls because the cars ain't got no gas. Great. Police don't have any fuel. You don't know if they'll arrive when you call them. The babies are starving. My girlfriend can't find a tampon, and yet somehow you and I are the problem. Somehow. <laughs> mm, there you go. Um, I think that the baby formula thing has been somewhat improved. I think that one's been improved by leaps and bounds from what it was a few months ago, but it's still a problem. Right. <clears throat> and supplies of a lot of things are becoming a problem, not just because of um, scarcity, but be just the prices. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the, and it all comes down to the gas prices because the <clears throat> the trucks that deliver these things to the stores have to have fuel. Mm -hmm. And with and with gas prices in some places up to like ten, almost ten dollars a, a gallon. Right. And I, I don't know how much uh, this has to do with gas prices, but I know this much. Um, Thursday evening, a about two foot section of our living room ceiling fell in. So Friday morning, he calls the landlord. <laughs> you would think that's kind of a priority when part of the ceiling fell in. But no, no. We still haven't heard anything from him. And it's Monday. Yeah. At the time of this recording he even got a hold of them again this morning and they said oh well we put an order in yeah mm. <laughs> All them the babies are starving, my girlfriend can't find a tampon And yet somehow you and I are the problem somehow. I've never brought a gun without having my background scanned and approved The only right? loophole I've seen on a gun is the one that you put a fucking lanyard through It's <laughs> not true that you can go to the store and just swipe your card and get a Glock and run It's funny, the people that say that shit have literally never even shot one mm -hmm. Hey, Matthew McCoy Yeah, These, the people who are who honestly think that you can just go pick up a gun anywhere 
ill-informed, I suppose you can say that, but the, the information is readily available to anybody who right who decides to look. It, you have to go through background checks. You have to <clears throat> go through. You have to make sure that you have all your licenses and things like that. And you have to. There's a, there's a waiting period for handguns. I think what happens is they confuse all the people getting the guns illegally with the ones getting it legally. You know what I mean? Maybe, but they figure it's so easy to get an illegal firearm that it must be easy to get one the legal way. Yeah, um, that's dumb. That's the only thing I can figure. The people that say that shit have literally never even shot one. Dumbass. Hey, Matthew McConaughey. Shut the fuck up. Just because you murdered people on screen doesn't mean you know shit about guns, you dumb fuck. What, you worried about us? What about all of those violent movies that you played? How about you go talk to Alec Baldwin before you start telling me what to do, okay? <laughs> you know me? I was... <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know the story behind those two, but... Alec Baldwin uh, shot a prop pistol oh, and yeah. killed somebody. Yeah, that's right. I remember hearing about that. Yeah, it was an accident, yeah. but... I'm, I was referring more to McConaughey. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. How about you go talk to Alec Baldwin before you start telling me what to do, okay? You Valdi? I was horrified by it. That's your hometown. You were born right by it. It probably cuts deep, and I hope that it does, because you work in an industry that glorifies violence. It's more your fault mm -hmm. than it will ever be mine. Lord only knows how many crimes that you've influenced throughout your whole career, because I've seen you kill people plenty of times. Yep. What do you think is going to cause a shooting? A YouTube video of a gun review? Or a Hollywood murder scene that seems so realistic it looks like it's from the news? So next time, mm. then you want to point your finger with a stupid opinion and chime in with it. Remember, it ain't me that they're trying to be like, dog. It's you that they're trying to mimic. I f Ooh. Ooh, that has to hit hard. Mm, I don't mm. know. I... I used to think that that wasn't the case. I figured people were smart enough to know the difference between, you know, reality and entertainment and fiction. But the more kids are raised without parental supervision and being talked to about the things that they're seeing on TV, the more kids are influenced more by the characters that they're watching than the people around them. I agree. I agree 100 percent think it looks like it's from the news so next time that you want to point your finger with a stupid opinion and chime in with it remember it ain't me that they're trying to be like dog it's you that they're trying to mimic <laughs> i feel way more safe in a place where the people are legally armed if something happens like a mass shooting i have a way less chance of being lethally harmed a criminal is right agreed <clears throat> there's like like she said earlier there's there's not really much to break down in here it's just Right? Yeah. Now, a little story time. Um, now, this happened when my husband was young, and it was before we got married. But he was living in a city, and he used to wear these this long duster. <laughs> you know, he was in his late teens, early 20s. I was in my, I was in my late teens. Late teens. But he, he wore this long duster. And I, thought, I thought I looked cool. It, it did. It looked really cool. But he also smoked, so he carried a Zippo with him, and he carried it on his belt. And, you know, so he's walking along, and he whips back his coat and grabs a hold of his belt to grab his lighter. Yeah, I did that, and about, I heard about five or six clicks behind me. It sounded a lot like gun cocking. <laughs> So I kind of just pulled my lighter out and held it up above my head between my these two fingers here, and I had about heard, you know, and heard them put their guns away and everything. And, mm -hmm. that, and somebody out of out of somewhere said, "You better watch that shit, man." <laughs> right. So uh, since then, I I uh, stopped wearing the duster when I was when I was out if I didn't have to. <laughs> and you know, it's just one of those things. In a way, it's kind of scary, but in another way, it's really freaking smart. Because if he was a troublemaker, if he was going to do something, 
these people were going to stop him. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought about later on is the fact that it was very reassuring that there were people who were going to stop somebody from, mm-hmm. you know, doing doing some fuck shit. Yep. So here we go. Legally armed. If something happens like a mass shooting, I have a way less chance of being lethally harmed. A criminal is going to think twice if he knows everybody is a piece underneath their clothes. And Mayor Lightfoot will probably tell you different, but huh, have you seen Chicago? <laughs> no. Before you ask, I don't want to be like Canada either. And I don't want to be like Australia. I'm sick of everybody using them as a humanity meter. There's a reason that they can do whatever they want to their citizens. Like, fucking throw them in camp. And there's a reason that our government Whoa. doesn't even try. Go back. And I don't want to be like Australia I'm sick of everybody using them as a humanity meter There's a reason that they can do whatever they want To their citizens like fucking throw them in Oh yeah I, I remember I remember that Okay I remember seeing that Okay I didn't know what that was I, it, it happened too quick for me to read it so. We're gonna leave it And <clears throat> just for a second for y'all to read Because uh, we can't say those things out loud no. But there you are There you are Camp. And there's a reason that our government <clears throat> doesn't even try that shit Cause they know that they can't nope. If you don't think for one split second That if we didn't have our second amendment The government wouldn't overstep its boundaries And make us do shit even when we're against it You're out of your mind I don't give a damn where you stand or how or what you vote That's dandy and fine if you trust Uncle Sam But I for one fucking don't And why would I? <laughs> what have they done? Give me a reason for me to believe them They wanna trade me a little security In exchange for a big ass piece of my freedom they- Oh, they wanna trade me a little security for a whole bunch of my freedom Mm. now that's the thing people people need to remember that we're responsible for our own security yep um to a degree yeah to a large degree now the government your government no matter where you're from should protect your country and your country's borders but as far as personal protection to most degree, you got to protect yourself. Mm-hmm. The police are overworked anyway. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's really it really up, is up to you. And you call the police if you can. Right. That will help if, if they can get there in time. But really, if somebody breaks into your house and they have a weapon, if you don't have a weapon, you're pretty much screwed. Yep. And for me to believe them, they want to trade me a little security in exchange for a big ass piece of my freedom. They don't want to take away guns because they care about you and they want to keep you safe at night. They want to take away guns because it's easy to control people if they don't have any way to fight. Hey, buddy. Yeah, absolutely, it's easy to control people if they don't have any way to fight. And that's like he said earlier. You know, these these are people who are protected with big walls and armed guards. Mm-hmm. I mean, really? <laughs> yeah, and we've talked about the government's need to control people several times on this channel and I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. Yeah, we would. Safe at night, they want to take away guns because it's easy to control people if they don't have any way to fight. Hey, buddy, what's your little AR-15 going to do when the government comes to take it? Well, Ukraine started handing out rifles to all of the citizens when the Russians invaded, so what about that? I thought it wouldn't help. I guarantee that it'd be better than nothing. I hope it never does, but- Oh, good point there. <laughs> I like it when they take and flip somebody else's logic on them and make it make sense. Use their own logic. Oh, yeah. So what about that? I thought it wouldn't help. I guarantee that it'd be better than nothing. I hope it never does. But if the day comes, I bet that you're going to wish that you had something. This is the only country on earth where the people have real strength. And nowadays, with all the shit going on, it's the only thing that makes me feel safe. If there's anything that I've learned in the past couple years looking back at the pandemic, all of the shit that we have is fragile and it can snap at any second. Absolutely. Fuck all of the politicians. Absolutely. Everything we have is fragile. Mm-hmm. Our infrastructure the things that we absolutely need to live those systems are very fragile and uh, I think in a way it's a good thing that that's being brought to everybody's attention no I, I, I don't think in a way it is I think it should have been brought to everybody's attention years ago no what I mean is the pandemic and showing actually showing people in a way that they it hits them where they live you know what i mean it's one thing to know something cognitively it's another thing to go oh okay this really affects me yeah well that's the point i was making i I think this should have been brought to their attention years ago 
but like you said, there's, no, there's the only way to, for people to actually recognize that it, it is a problem is for something like that to happen. Right. This shit that we have is fragile, and it can snap at any second. Fuck all of the politicians. I don't trust anything they say. Take yep. the word gun out of gun control, and that's all that it is at the end of the day. Yep. I don't give a fuck how crazy you think that I look or I sound when I say this shit, but our Second Amendment's the only thing that stands between us and a dictatorship. Absolutely. Yeah. Although I think it, it could very easily slide that way. Very easily. And as for the kids... I'm not a security expert, so I won't act like one. But I think that if we can send over $50 billion to Ukraine, we could surely spend that much or more or less here in our own country to fortify our schools and make them more secure so that every kid can get an education safe and sound. Place several trained armed guards in every school across America. You know, real men. Who won't stand by for 45 minutes in the hallway while a shooting unfolds in front of their own eyes. Yep. And pay them well, too. There's veterans that need the work. Why not protect our kids the same way that we protect you? Politicians are protected by guns. Celebrities are protected by guns. Every important person that walks this earth is protected by a gun. But our kids... They're important, just not as much as you. Mm, that was that was a low blow, but it's one that needed to be taken. I don't know about that. Um, armed guards at gates outside the perimeter, yeah, I, I could see that. In a way, here's my problem with it. Um, at what point do we start making these schools more and more like prisons? And just the psychology of the kids alone. Uh, I, I don't know that I am on board with that idea. Well, <clears throat> if, if not that idea, then some idea, something has to happen. It's, I agree with him. We, in in certain areas <clears throat> we're spending we're sending billions of dollars over to Ukraine sure and it's not our war we're sending billions of dollars over to Ukraine we're sending our oil reserves over to Ukraine we're sending our guns over there but we can't we can't afford to amp up security at, at our schools I don't, like I said, I don't think it's a matter of that. I think it's a matter of, see, you never went to a school that had security measures like that. I went to one. And if you recall, uh, while I was in school, we didn't have a shooting, but we had a bomb threat and somebody set part of the school on fire with all of us in it. And my classroom was on the third floor. There's three stories in a basement. And there's this uh, gate around with the armed guards. And we had metal detectors. We had all of that. And the thing that I remember going to that school was a lot of the security that was there to protect us treated the kids like they were criminals. Okay. <clears throat> and when we had that bomb threat they cleared us out of the school but we were still inside those gates if the bomb had gone off it still would have killed and injured a whole lot of us because they wouldn't let us leave the gates i get that but in the same in the same fashion we don't have these armed guards and we don't have these extra security measures what's going to stop the the shooters from going in there and doing their jobs or doing their jobs doing do, <laughs> causing their havoc it is their job mm, to do that for, yeah. they, they think it's their duty I guess but, who, but who's gonna stop them from causing havoc I don't know like I said there needs to be some kind of compromise but uh, it has to be done smarter than what we're doing it a lot smarter 
anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Because we want to hear it and we want to have these conversations with people. We want y'all to have these conversations with each other. So Right. And like I said, I'm not necessarily against that idea, but I'm not exactly for it either. And my own personal experience with uh, security at school might be coloring that a bit. So I'd love to know what y'all think. Anyway. Like, share, subscribe, ring our little bell, do all the little things. Leave a comment down below for us, please. Be blessed, y'all. Peace.